uh, I'm putting up right here the creative uh, Z egg. So as you can see, this is a pretty nice design for an Android device. Uh, it has a 3.5 inch uh, screen. Uh, it is not uh, white VGA, I think. It is uh, 420 times uh, 360 or uh, 380, uh, 480 times 320, something like that. Uh, but there, you can see that it's Creative Z booting up. Uh, so we will we'll, uh, check out what's going on in their interface as soon as they're booted up. It has a 256 megabyte of RAM. Um, it has uh, the, the dual ARM9 processor, ARM926EJ-S cores, um, which are the creative, uh, the first generation of their um, uh, Z uh, processor kind of product, ZMS05. Uh, so, and this is like a development kind of product as well, where you can go on the website and you can buy this, I think for something like $400. Uh, unlocked, it's totally unlocked. Um, uh, does it have a SIM card? Is it like a phone? It's not a SIM card, it's just Wi Fi, just Wi Fi device. Uh, so it says no servers. Uh, not really sure why they do that. So press menu to unlock. Maybe it's this here. Yeah. So here. This is it. We are in the in the main menu. Uh, it's a capacitive touchscreen, so it's fine. It's totally like uh, responsive and, and quick and uh, light touch, so that works cool. And uh, they have, uh, we can go into settings, we can check out uh, the version of Android that they are using. 1.6 right now is a donut. They call it the model, num model number Z Egg. This is a Z Egg. And if we go return, which is, uh, I guess, uh, this, this is ba based in the menu. And uh, let's check uh, uh, Speed Force 3D. It's in here. So there should be a 3D game. Um, it should be hardware accelerated. It's working pretty good in in, each, in, uh, in, uh, in terms of 3D and stuff like that. So if we try and, and enter the game, maybe it's going to launch the game right here. And uh, let's uh, click on, on the enter button. Yes, yes, okay. I will try play. And I'll try accept. Accept? Yeah, let's select this one. Yeah, accept. Easy. Let's enter and play some 3D game. Because uh, playing 3D is pretty cool in Android, and so they have that working as well. But it's still in development. They still have a bunch of optimizations they need to do, and because they say that their uh, Creative Z Egg can output 1080p, uh, but we're going to check it, check test it out in a few uh, few seconds. We're going to output it to an HDTV, and there you, you see this is working. And I don't know if one of these buttons does the, uh, the tilt it forward, then it goes. You can see it's pretty cool. 3D, 3D stuff. And is it using uh, Mali? Um, no, so this is ZLab's Z own uh, 3D engine. Okay, so ZLab have, have done their, their 3D, 3D engine uh, accelerating 3D, and it looks pretty cool. It looks like looks like a, like a Xbox, like a Wii in the bucket. So that works. And there's a speaker, as you can see. So let's um, let's exit. I'm gonna exit. So we're back to the menu right here. But over there, I'm gonna try and connect it. Play some video on the HDTV. So there's a connector, a uh, big, big connector in the bottom, and then it pops up some kind of uh, USB is connected kind of thing here up here. So we can uh, see it says USB debugging because it's also a USB kind of a connection. But then I go into Z Player, and this is the application to uh, decode video, which they have done. And in here uh, we can play a 720p video, and it says, do you want to play it on the LCD? or an HDMI, or the component, I guess. And we say, just HDMI. That's what happens is this screen doesn't turn off. It still is used as a, like, kind of like a playback kind of menu control. And it outputs 720p, 40, 24 frames per second. This is kind of like a demo, famous demo video. And you can just uh, scroll forward here by just touching the Z, and it just stays on. I guess it gets the power from this uh, USB connector, or um, yep. this, so it so it's powers the screen as well. So it doesn't like lose power by staying on, and it stay it powers the whole thing. It powers the whole experience. There you have pretty smooth uh, 720p video playback. They have announced that they have two different OS. They have their own OS, which is um, called um, uh, Creative kind of OS. I forgot the name exactly. The Z Plasma. The Z platform. Plasma OS. Plasma Plasma OS, which uh, I think does 1080p. 
because they haven't integrated that there, but we, I can't really check it right now. But uh, they haven't done 1080p, at least for now, on this device for Android. It's 720, which is a good start. And um, H.264, maybe high profile, way back. And um, then I exit. Exit, it goes out of the video. It's only for video. The, the, the output, the HD output is only for video. Then I go here and I can just, uh, I think I can just put it off. Well, I just did it. And uh, there it is. Yeah. You got a web yeah, browser yeah. as well, but there's no internet in the trade show. Um, so it is, this is a Z-Egg. Based on the creative. And just we're going to check because they have uh, the next generation processor right here. Um, they're showing here at the ARM booth their, their next version chip, which is ARM Cortex A8 based uh, processor. I think they call it the ZMS08. Yep. And uh, this is the whole platform, the whole system and chip that they do, right? They do everything. Yep. I mean, they, they provide this whole solution. This is a full computer, basically. Yeah, so this is an example platform. The, the system on chip is just that chip there. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of it's memory yeah. and accessories, yeah. accessories. But it's a, a kind of a platform they provide. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the next generation for Creative. They're doing ARM Cortex A8 with HDMI output here, two USB. Uh, some kind of uh, G-Tag, or what's it called, this thing to do some debugging, or what's it called, and here SD card slots. And um, this is how it looks, and this is going to be available later. Did they announce, like, uh, they're just showing it recently, right? This is the yes. next generation. Yep. So this is it. This is from Creative. This is what the Creative is doing. Thanks for watching.